back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am very excited because we are reviewing the new Not Your Mother's line. Uh, this is their curly line. It's sulfate silicone paraben free, curly girl method approved, except for some products. We will get into that. We'll be spilling all the details. Um, and this is not a first impression review of the line. I've tried this line probably maybe like eight times or so. So this isn't first impression, it's gonna be more detailed, in-depth, how the products perform over time, um, and how consistent they are, all that jazz. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys like first impression reviews or if you prefer a more like, in-depth, detailed review like this. I always wanna be putting out content that you guys want to see. So yeah, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of a review. And of course, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join the family. And follow me on Instagram while you're at it. Why not? It's free. All right, let's get started. So today we're gonna to be jumping in with Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line shampoo and conditioner. Now, starting off with the shampoo. I've used this so many times. Um, I adore it. It's perfect. Um, it has a very nice scent. I would definitely say that it's not overwhelming for those of you who are like super sensitive to smells. I want to say it has like a grapey scent, but maybe I'm wrong. I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm not sure, but I think it's grape. I don't know, but it's just a very nice, fresh, very subtle scent. Like you're not gonna smell this on your hair throughout the day or anything like that. Um, it's nice, cute little packaging. And of course this product's sulfate, silicone, paraben free, all that jazz. Really, really nice for giving you a great volume, but still being hydrating. Um, honestly, I think this is very, very comparable to Diva Curl's Delight Line Shampoo, and I adore it. Now, as far as the conditioner is concerned, they advertise it as a co-wash, leave-in, or conditioner three-in-one product. Um, in my personal opinion, this is great as a co-wash, this is great as a leave-in, but I don't think it's quite hydrating and moisturizing enough to be a conditioner for wavy, curly, or kinky, curly girls. Um, it is a thick conditioner. I don't think, you know, if I were to put it on the palm of my hand, it's not gonna slide down. Um, it's not like ultra thin or anything like that, but for some reason, it's just not that hydrating or moisturizing, and I don't know why, but it's just not. Um, so I think this would be a good leave-in, just to like add a little bit of moisture into your hair, but nothing crazy. And then I think this would be a great co-wash, but as a conditioner, it's not my favorite. Moving on to our styling products, I, <laughs> I don't have enough good things to say. I love these, oh my gosh. You guys are gonna be shook when you see the results. And actually in my video, the bathing suit try on that I did with Venus two videos ago when I like debuted my haircut where I cut off, I think it was three or three and a half inches. Um, in that video, I actually used the entire Natural Mother's line and everyone was saying how good my hair looked. And I was trying to like hold off and wait for this video to spill the beans. So yeah, um, amazing. These, <laughs> I don't even have words. I'm just so excited to have like a more affordable, awesome option to share with you guys. It just like thrills my soul. So these will all be linked in the description box down below. Don't panic. This defining cream is fabulous. Um, you don't need a lot. It is a really nice, light, creamy formula. It definitely gives definition, but it also hydrates and it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. My hair still has fantastic volume and like width to it and it's just fire. And then as far as gels are concerned, you guys know the only other gel I've ever used in like is Amika's gel from the Curl Corpse line. Um, but this gel is pretty similar and I love it just the same. So it's really, really exciting for me to now have two gels that work for me. For some reason, Diva Curl's gels have never been my favorite. Other gels have never worked for me. They've always just left my hair very like crunchy and like just not good, but this one and the Amika gel are absolutely fabulous. Um, I think it says that this is a level three hold, so maybe, I don't know, it's just good. It really helps with frizz. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and it is hot, it is humid, and this is perfect for, um, for living my life. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Curl Talks Mousse. Now, this product is unfortunately not Curly Girl Method approved. There was a lot of buzz around this product. People were a little bit confused if it was Curly Girl Method approved or not. It is not. 
They had taken this away from the line um, and they have actually decided to come out with a brand new mousse that is silicone free. So I think that that's fantastic. I've yet to try this product, um, so I can't really speak to it, but once again, they are coming out with a new version of this product without the silicones. So I'm really, really excited to test it out when they come out with that version. All right guys, let's go ahead and pop in the shower and fix my hair. All right guys, so jumping on into the shower, of course we are starting off with our shampoo. Now, this is a really nice shampoo. I used a little bit too much, don't use that much. <laughs> um, but this is a sulfate free shampoo. However, it does suds up significantly, which I personally love. I feel like it makes me just, in my mind, feel like I'm really washing my hair, and I don't know, I just love it, but it does not strip your hair. Even though it suds up a lot, it's still very hydrating and moisturizing, so it's honest to God, the perfect combo, and it smells heavenly. Not too strong, but it does smell heavenly. One thing to note about these products is that they're formulated with a rice curl complex. So they have, um, rice, keratin amino acids, and enzymes, which is very interesting. I feel like a lot of products nowadays are made just straight up out of coconut, and sometimes those products don't really work for my hair and weigh my hair down. Um, so, I mean, I'm digging this line, clearly. Moving on to the conditioner, I did decide to use a little bit of the conditioner, um, and I will leave some of it in, but it's just not enough to detangle. As you can see, It's I'm, I'm struggling a bit here. I just don't think this conditioner creates quite enough slip, so we're going to mask it up. Um, I'm adding a little bit of Shea Moisture's Yogurt and Manuka Honey Mask. Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me. This is the Protein Power Punch Mask. Something like that. I'll link it down below. Don't worry. Um, it's great to add some definition back into your hair. Um, it is full of protein, so you don't want to leave it in for more than 15 minutes. Beware. And then this is Pacifica's Pineapple Curls Mask, and this is just to add some moisture back into my hair, and this smells legit like you opened up a can of pineapples. Unbelievable. So I'm just gonna let this sit on my hair for like 15 minutes, no more, because of that protein power punch, and then we're gonna dance. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, this is like such like basic white girl. Okay, thank God that's over. <laughs> So right here, I am just flipping my hair over while it is still wet, and I'm going to wrap it up in a turby twist. Then I will let my hair dry for about 15, 20 minutes or so, and I will see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so I've had my hair in this turban for about 25 minutes, give or take. I have recently been putting my hair up in a turban before applying my hair products as opposed to applying them in the shower. Um, I just like the look, it gives a little bit more. It gives more of kind of like a fluffier look, not quite as like um, defined and curly, more just like fluffy and thick and voluminous, which I've been liking a little more recently. So yeah, and also fun fact, um, I got a ColourPop, oh no, excuse me, Pop Beauty PR box recently, and I love this color. I just put it on because I stepped outside and it kind of felt like fall a little bit, and I was like, ooh, I wanna wear a fall lip color. This is Pop Beauty's matte lip paint in the color Razzle Rose. I'll link it down below. It's freaking beautiful, and it doesn't feel like too dry or matte to the point where it's like uncomfortable, and I'm kind of living, so. Just thought I'd share. First things first, we're gonna take out our turban and apply our curling cream. And next we're gonna add some of the Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. We're gonna use about this much. All I'm gonna do is rub it between my hands and I'm just gonna coat my hair on it and then scrunch at the end. Thank you. 
Now that we've put all of our stylers in, I'm gonna go just let my hair air dry. As you guys know, I like to flip my hair from side to side as it is air drying. I find that this helps it to air dry quicker and gives me more volume. So I'm just gonna go make some lunch, do some emails, and I'll see you guys soon. All right guys, so these are my results. Um, as you can see, there's definitely like some pretty curls in there, but it's mostly just like nice waves, super voluminous. It gives like a very like beachy look. And I see in y'all's comments that you like to see how my hair looks from the back a lot. 